Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a ladder pattern Damascus billet. I've got a couple knives to make a little later on, but I want to get the billet made and I want to show you how I do it. So let's go cut up some steel. So I'm starting off with a couple bars of 1084 and 15 and 20. I like to clean them this way. I don't roll the edges. It comes out pretty good. Nice and shiny. Get them marked up so we can cut them. Take them over to the bandsaw. Good sharp blade makes a quick work of this stuff. A little clean up. Got the edges deburred. I'm just gonna stack them alternating 15 in 20 and 1084. I think I'm gonna have around 20 layers. This was two inch wide bars, made a big stack. Get them ready to go weld. I'm just gonna seal up the ends with the TIG torch. I like to fuse them. I don't add any filler metal. I'm not worried about it holding. You just wanna seal it up, keep oxygen out. Now with this many layers, at one time I like to take a little insurance and cover the sides with some sacrificial sheet metal. This is stainless sheet metal, it's about 16 gauge, something like that. And I'll do the same thing, just fuse it to the sides. Again, we're not worried about strength. We just want to keep oxygen out of the billet. You don't have to use any flux this way. Put her right in the forge and get her forge welded. And she's ready to go. Just gonna squeeze a little bit, not too much. Make sure it sticks. Get it back in the fire. Okay, we can go ahead and cut off our sacrificial plate. That way I can get them out of the way and squeeze them on the sides. I don't worry about pushing any of that metal into the billet. Take it easy on those edges at first. Got our drawing dies in. We're going to draw it out now. There it is, drawn out. Went ahead and cut it in half because it's too long. And I'll just forge out two billets. Got some kiss blocks in there so I can get about a half inch thick bar. Got 
uh, square the width up a little bit. That way I got good even square corners when I go to cut it up and refold weld it. I like to use these cupped stone wheels. This thing is outstanding for removing spore scale. There's a link in my description if you'd like to get one. Got her cut and restacked. Should give us 80 layers. Just fused them together. Squeeze them together. And draw them out again. cut and restack. A little drama here. Sometimes I like to feel it stick under the hammer. I don't do this with a lot of layers, but three layers I can risk it a little bit and have fun too. pattern I'm going about 3 8 of an inch all the way down the bar making a mark do it on both sides I'm not alternating these marks I'm gonna cut these down to about a quarter inch and that's where I'll forge down to And the pattern are pretty much mirror on each side. There I'm marking out the center of the billet. That's where I want to cut to. I'm going to use a cutoff wheel just to mark these lines. Then I'm going to come back with a regular grinding wheel and cut all the way to that center mark. And we'll do this on both sides. And she's ready to forge. Taking it easy, I don't want to get any cold shuts. Forging it pretty hot. May not show up on the camera that way, but it's hot. Now I'm going to set me some kiss blocks here for the thickness of the billet I want. That way, when I grind scale off, I'm down to about where I want to be to make the knife. A little straightening. A little planishing while it's kind of cool, not pressing too hard, just getting straight and smooth. And there's our bars drawn out. Get them cleaned up. And there's our pattern. Not too bad. No dies used, just ground them in. Stay tuned for a future video. I'll be making some knives from these bars. Thank you for watching. 